We can now join Mohamed Fahmi, who knows Al Jazeera very well, a former Al Jazeera employee. He joins me now from Washington, D.C. Now, we should put on the record, Mohamed Fahmi, that you were, of course, one of the journalists that was arrested and detained for a long time in Egypt while working for Al Jazeera. You, of course, no connection with them now. But in your view, how serious a threat to freedom of expression is this effort by the Saudis and their partners to close down the Al Jazeera network? I think it's a natural progression. Uh, in a press conference I had today in Washington, D.C., uh, we basically announced a lot of evidence that in incriminates the network and clearly shows that they conspired with the Muslim Brotherhood, a group that is designated as terrorists, and Hamas as well. Um, the last time we interviewed, we had an interview, uh, I explained to you that I had sued them in Canada. The case is now brought to court, will be brought to court in January 2018. There's another case against them in Washington, D.C. that was raised by my former colleague, Mohammed Fauzi, and we're taking these cases all the way. Freedom yeah. of expression is something very important for us. However, in my press conference, I started the press conference with a video of Yusuf al Karadawi, an Egyptian fugitive who now has a Qatari um, citizenship and he had a show on Al Jazeera, a weekly show, and I started with him endorsing suicide bombings and this guy had 60 million viewers on Al Jazeera Arabic. So that is not yeah, freedom of expression and to explain and, uh, you know, inspire terrorists is not freedom of expression. All right, but Mohammed Fahmi, you, you know, there, there are a few problems here, not least of which you, you were a loyal servant of Al Jazeera as a journalist working in Egypt and elsewhere too for quite a long time. Are you telling me now that even when you were working for Al Jazeera, you had grave doubts about their associations with the Brotherhood and other Islamist organizations? I worked for Al Jazeera for three months, not a servant, and indeed, when Al Jazeera, when the Muslim Brotherhood were uh, branded as terrorists and Al Jazeera requested that I... Oh, uh, I'm afraid to say we seem to have lost, lost the line there to um, Mohammed Fahmi. We'll try and get it back, but if we can't, we will obviously bring you all the other news of the day. But